Hello, vlogger heads. I'm picking the kids up from school, so I thought I'd vlog a little bit. I tried to go running today for the first time in a long time. And uh, I only was able to run like five minutes and then I just walked. So I'd like to start running again and I'm going to start, I don't, I don't know if you remember a couple years ago, I, I did some uh, running cause I want to train for like a little 5k. So I did this program where for three weeks or 30 days, you work on a, a run, walk, run, walk, run, walk until you work yourself into being able to run for 30 minutes straight. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to start tomorrow. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to record it like through vlog or do I want to journal it by journaling it? I wouldn't mind like, you know, keeping track of my progress and how I feel during the day or how I feel about the run or, you know. I have the vision of wanting to run again I have a plan to start running again, and I will start tomorrow the plan. Now, how do I, or do I, should I just not even worry about keeping track of it? Should I just stick to the plan and do my plan, you know, the daily schedule, whatever, you know. Tomorrow, I think I, I do a walk warm up for five minutes, and then I run a minute, walk a minute, 10 times and then I do a five minute cool down and then the following day I uh, think I do a four minute run and then you know somehow you know there's different pattern different so I, I just I need to write the schedule down so because I used to have the, the back in the health group here and uh, I used to get a lot of good advice so, uh, I'm, I've plateaued at 209 pounds. My goal was to get down to 195. So maybe the running will help with that. Uh, I also, when I was 246, starting to lose weight, I told myself when I get to 220 pounds, I'm going to start running. Of course, I made it to 220 and I did not start running. So... I think I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to start running. I just feel like I need that right now in my life. <laughs> my already super busy life. Um, one of my sons is taking Spanish at a junior college. He enrolled uh, for an evening class so that he doesn't have to take it at high school. And I decided to take the class with him. So starting in January, I will be going to Spanish class on uh, two days a week, two evenings a week. So that should be fun. Uh, I took it in high school and, you know, I used to work in restaurants down in Southern California, which, you know, kind of had to know how to speak Spanish to talk to fellow workers in the restaurant. But I'm rusty at it, and uh, it would just be nice to brush up, get better at it. Mas. Mas bueno? No. Mucho bueno? <laughs> Help me out, Daniel. <laughs> Damasito. Es no chistoso. All right. I think that's, uh, that's my update. Uh, I'm finding myself, uh, yeah wanting to focus on running, exercise, health, losing weight, work, uh, take this class with my son. So this will be a bonding thing and, you know, brush up on Spanish and all that stuff. I think that's all I got.
yeah, if this made you think of anything you want to tell me, like, yeah, you should vlog it, Tom, or no, you should just journal it, or no, don't do either, just do it, don't worry about it, don't let anything distract you from it, or hey, good luck with the Spanish, or hey, yeah, great job, you know, whatever, or you're doing a horrible job, Tom. I found myself getting uh, daydreamy a lot lately. Uh, and it's like thinking about like buying property or a car or a different car or a different house or buying a piece of land somewhere. And could I do it? Could I afford it? And in all reality, it's, it's wasting my time to think of these things, to dream of these things. They're not realistic. So that makes me want, wonder about why am I doing that? Why am I trying to distract myself with daydreams? Anyway, see ya. I'm home. I'm home. Stop yelling at me. Stop yelling at me. Stop yelling at me. Yes. <laughs>